focusing on our purpose which is to heal so if we remember I'm gonna do a whole lecture on this but if we remember daily my purpose is to heal so I wake up every morning and I have a prayer right underneath my altar and it says what miracles would you have me perform today and the first thing I say is that prayer what, what where would you have me go what would you have me do what would you have me say and to whom and so that is my first thought in the morning the alarm goes off where would you have me go what would you have me do what would you have me say and to whom and that thought says I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be a service, show me where to go. Tonight I was listening to a song I'm going to play for you later and, it, and, it, and for whatever reason it really ignites this thing in me. There's a line that says, where are my friends that, they're, that are lost and alone? May they find their way home. I'll cry when we hear the song, trust me. And it just immediately got me into that place of being like, yeah, Gab, you were a strung out junkie with no friends who had nothing going for you. And you found your way home. And your job is to bring everyone with you. And so when I connect to that place, all of my resentments, all of my dramas, all of my past fears, all of my ego's judgment, all of my attack, it goes away because I don't have time for that crap if I'm here to help you come home with me. So if you take that seriously, if you take your service mentality seriously, people, you will stop wasting time judging, comparing, attacking, gossiping. You will stop wasting time flipping out whether or not he called. You will say, who do I have to serve? How can I make myself more complete and more whole so that I can go back to love? So to wrap up my end of the spiel, I want to talk a little bit about what the holy instant is. There's a great line from A Course in Miracles which is, heaven is not a place or a condition, it is merely an awareness of perfect oneness. So that moment that we choose to forgive that person, or the moment that we say, oh, this beautiful cab driver that I'm speaking Spanglish with is one with me, we recognize that perfect oneness with that person. And that moment that we release that separation, we create a holy instant. It is a moment where a miracle occurs because we remember we are one, we are love. That moment that we forgive our romantic partner because of that whatever thing they did and we come back to a place of recognizing how much we love them, we have created a holy instant. A holy instant can lead us to a holy relationship. So adding up these holy instances through asking for miracles and choosing forgiveness and shifting our perceptions to oneness, shifting our perceptions out of fear, back to love, recognizing we are one, the more we add that up, the more we do that, the closer we get to completing ourselves, the closer we get to feeling whole, feeling fulfilled, the closer we get to releasing the attack and the judgment, and then we get to a place of wholeness where we can create a holy relationship. A holy relationship is when two whole people come together to share in their abundance. When two complete people come together to enjoy their awesomeness to serve together. When there's that attack and that judgment is all released, that is a holy relationship. A holy relationship is when the purpose is healing and growth, not hatred and attack. And so I want to read to you where you are going. This is my last quote for you. And so the quote is from A Course in Miracles. Oh, and I tweeted this last week, which I really like this one. A person who is truly independent only depends on their inner guide. I wrote that. That's not A Course in Miracles. So when you're truly independent, you are truly, only in, you are truly only dependent on your ing. So this is the quote that I want to read you. So the holy, unholy relationship is based on differences, where each one thinks the other has whatever he has not. They come together, each to complete himself, and rob the other. They stay until they think there is nothing left to steal, and then move on. And so they wander through a world of strangers, unlike themselves, living with their bodies, perhaps under a common roof that shelters neither, in the same room and yet in a world apart. A holy relationship starts from a different premise. Each one has looked within and seen no lack, accepting his completion. He would extend it by joining with another whole as himself. 
So when you get to that place where you look within and you've done your work and you see no lack and you recognize where there are any unhealed parts, they are just being worked on. You can attract that whole being to you and you can serve together. So take these tools with you. Start to shine light on those ego's nasty tricks and complete yourself. That's why this lecture is not about how to get a man. It's about how to love yourself, how to feel complete.